one of the things I often help people with is working through shame. Whether a person has survived trauma or not, a lot of times shame is a big part of their life. Uh, shame is one of those things that is really common to the human experience. So what I'm going to talk about today is the physiological aspect of shame, which is a, a real key piece when it comes to working through it, and really unlocking the gift that, that sits behind shame. Uh, ultimately, the gift that sits behind shame is usually a sense of very clear determination on what you want more of and what you really don't want, the sorts of relationships that you would like to stop having and creating the sorts of situations that you're tired of being stuck with and would really like to depart from. And so uh, this is the way that I often will help people start accessing it. When shame is active, if you're feeling it right now, this is a great time to start. As long as you're in an okay place to do this, take a nice deep breath. And as you breathe, I'm going to invite you to keep taking deep breaths in a way that works for you, but just keep breathing and paying attention to which part of your body seems to be feeling the shame. Nice deep breath. At your own speed, at your own pace. And as you breathe out especially, pay attention to where in your body the shame seems to be showing up. every feeling that you have, whether it's shame or some other sort of emotional type of feeling, th there's a physical place in the body that it, that it shows up. It wouldn't be a feeling if you didn't have that. So as you consider the, the, the shame that you're experiencing, nice deep breath, notice where it is, and then notice what happens because you're observing it, because you're noticing it. There's a place in your body where it shows up. Maybe it's a movement pattern. Sometimes it is. And then there's other places in your body that don't feel the shame. So I'm going to invite you to expand your awareness from where the shame is, whether it's super clear or not so clear. Expand your awareness to the places where it seems to taper off, where, where the, the body feels at ease, where there isn't shame, where there's more neutrality. So bring your awareness to where the shame is and stretch your awareness to where there's a sense of okayness, solidarity, or even a good feeling. Now for some people, when, when sort of the internal wires are really well connected, they start doing this, the shame starts to discharge. There's a survival energy surrounding it that sort of starts to let go and to discharge with certain feelings. So some of the feelings people experience when the survival energy around shame is letting go it would be feelings uh, like either tingles, um, sometimes people get shivers or, a, or an unstable feeling that then gets, gets solid. It sort of goes from unstable and wobbly to more uh, peaceful, connected and solid after a while. So don't be afraid of any of those feelings, whether it's happy tingles, uh, heat, a wobbly sort of unstable feeling, or whatever it is, just sort of notice it and stay with it if you can tolerate it, as long as it's not leaving you emotionally unhinged, just keep breathing and noticing it. And as the survival energy discharges, you'll get that, either the shivers, the tingles, the heat, that wobbly feeling that eventually goes more solid. Just keep breathing, bringing your awareness to where the shame is and then stretching your awareness beyond to where the more solid feelings are in your body. Discharge the survival energy around shame, not by forcing it to go away, but by watching it until the inhibitory and defensive mechanisms in the body start, start helping it level out, helping it settle out. And if it gets stuck, if the movement is, is stopped, well, one of the simple ways to start working with that is to continue to breathe and pay attention to it and then get, get an idea of where it feels like it's trying to move, whether it's sort of a movement of folding into itself, a movement of trying to elongate and then distribute out through the body, 
or some other kind of movement. Don't be afraid of whatever comes up, as long as it's not leaving you completely unhinged or, or go, getting to the point where it's intolerable, stay with it for a while. Now, if it does become intolerable or is leaving you emotionally unhinged, stop the exercise, take a break and distract. A lot of times it's enough to just be able to take it into your awareness and hold it for a while and then move on. But if, you, if, if you're able to tolerate it, you can really bring this to the next level. You can uh, activate the self-sensing, self-adjusting processes within your nervous system to discharge the survival energy. They'll, they'll, they'll do it for you if, you if you're able to stay with it. Breathe. Notice where the feeling is. Stretch your awareness to the clear spaces in your body. and let your body start to work with you to discharge the survival energy surrounding shame so that the gift behind it can be given. Sometimes that gift is that clear, sometimes even gritty and passionate sense of determination of what you want and what you want to stop creating or what you don't want. Sometimes the gift behind it is a feeling of mourning that can finally come through in a healing way instead of just leaving you stuck in a sad holding pattern. Sometimes it's a feeling of anger when you look at something and say, wow, there's this one part that I own, but there's this whole other part that really is something that happened to me that should not happen to people, or, or something that somebody else did that is just not right for, for that person to have done. And uh, being able to feel whatever it is, the, the determination, the, the anger, the sadness and mourning, and to, to allow the healing process to happen within you, that's a gift. And the way you get to it is by holding that survival energy that's surrounding your shame and your awareness and allowing it to uh, distribute through you with your body's self-sensing, self-adjusting, self-healing mechanisms. And if you're having trouble feeling it or noticing it, there's, there's some other instructionals on my site here that can, can help you to develop your neural platform for that. Uh, so the, the body scan, the meditative stuff, um, the trifecta of relief video, those sorts of things can, can help you to, to develop some of the basic mechanisms for this. But if it's working, stay with it. Breathe. Notice the sensations in the body where, that, that correspond to the shame feeling. And if it gets stuck, yeah, watching it is one of the ways that you can work with it. Uh, there are other ways uh, that can probably be found through other videos on the internet related to uh, brain spotting, EMDR. Um, there's, there's, there, there's other things that you can do. But continue to breathe, stay with it. And I hope you found this uh, instructional on shame useful.